Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about amblyopia. Amblyopia is also known as a lazy eye. It is a disorder of sight in which the brain fails to fully process input from one eye and over time favors the other eye. Amblyopia is a developmental defect of central visual processing leading to reduced visual form sense. During the first six years of life, our capacity for high level vision is vulnerable. So, during this time, anything less than perfect balanced foveal images from both eyes can lead to loss of vision in one or both eyes. With increasing age, this is harder to reverse and by about 7 to 8 years of age is usually permanent. Etiology of amblyopia is related to interocular competitive disadvantage. So, bilateral foveal image deprivation is less amblyogenic than unilateral foveal image deprivation. Coming to the causes of amblyopia, the first cause is no or reduced image. This is called as stimulus deprivation amblyopia. Constant monocular occlusion for more than one week per year of life is very likely to lead to amblyopia in those less than six years of age. Most congenital cataracts, especially unilateral, are highly amblyogenic because they cause stimulus deprivation. Outcome is closely linked to expedient removal. However, post-operative glaucoma risk diminishes exponentially with age at surgery. So, considering these two, most surgeons operate congenital cataracts at about 6 weeks of age. The second cause of amblyopia is image blurring from refractive error. It is usually a primary phenomenon. We should consider secondary causes like eyelid calasion or infantile hemangiomas, especially when the corrective plus axis of corrective prescription points at the lesion. Other causes of amblyopia include anisometric amblyopia, ametropic amblyopia, and astigmatic or meridional amblyopia. In anisometric amblyopia, there is unequal refractive power of eyes. This usually refers to the spherical equivalent. There is high risk of amblyopia if difference in refraction is more than 2.5 diopters. Differences as low as 1 diopter can also cause anisometropic amblyopia. In case of ametropic amblyopia, there is significant though symmetrical refractive error greater than plus 5 diopter spherical or minus 10 diopter spherical. Bilateral amblyopia can occur if such refractive errors are uncorrected. Coming to astigmatic or meridional amblyopia, there is significant risk if the refraction is greater than 0.75 diopter cylindrical. The risk increases if it is different axis or when the magnitude is different between the two eyes. The next cause of amblyopia is abnormal binocular interaction. This is called as strabismic amblyopia. There is significant risk of strabismic amblyopia if one eye is preferred for fixation. If it is freely alternating, then there is low risk of amblyopia. Now let us discuss the clinical features of amblyopia. There is reduced visual acuity after exclusion of other causes and despite correction of refractive error if present. There is exaggeration of crowding phenomenon that is the patient scores better with single optotypes. There is tolerance of a neutral density filter that is visual acuity is reduced less by addition of neutral density filters than in other causes of reduced visual acuity. This tolerance of neutral density filter is more in strabismic amblyopia than anisometropic amblyopia. Failure to respond following compliance with treatment should prompt reconsideration of diagnosis. Now let us discuss the treatment of amblyopia. The critical period during which visual development may be influenced is usually considered to be up to about 8 years of age. At younger ages, there is more rapid response to treatment of amblyopia. However, there is a slight risk of inducing occlusion amblyopia in the covered eye at younger ages. There is growing evidence that amblyopia treatment can be effective after the age of 8 years, especially if there has been no prior attempt at therapy. The general treatment approach is spectacle adaptation first and then either patching or atropine penalization. Spectacle adaptation is the period of visual improvement which will occur from refractive correction alone and plateaus before 3 months of compliant glasses wear. Coming to occlusion therapy, we have to adjust occlusion for age, visual acuity and social factors. Practice is very variable but in general longer episodes that is 
the number of times per day and longer treatment that is the weeks of patching have been used for older patients and those with worse visual acuity. This picture shows occlusion therapy for a case of amblyopia. There is some evidence that there is little excess benefit in patching for greater than 4 hours per day and this is used as an upper limit in some centers. A relative contraindication for occlusion is nystagmus which may worsen during occlusion. The next treatment option is penalization. Atropinization is gaining an increasing role in treatment of amblyopia. It may reduce the visual acuity in the better eye to about 680. So, is maximally effective if the amblyopic eye has visual acuity greater than 680. It is most effective when there is hypermetropic refractive error in the atropine treated eye. Remember, we treat the better eye with atropine. Coming to medical treatment of amblyopia, oral supplementation of dopamine that is levodopa has been tried. However, it is still in experimental stage in treatment of amblyopia. New technologies like video games have been tried in amblyopia. They have higher compliance and they avoid dissociation and they optimize binocularity. They offer promise but they are still in experimental stage in treatment of amblyopia. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.